Hello, James George, and this is Creative Beacon. This week, I'm going to show you how to create an animated GIF in just two layers inside of Photoshop. This is pretty cool, and uh, if you don't know about this, it's uh, a really nice feature. Um, you know, a lot of people, I'm sure you've seen online where they have those um, infinitely looping GIFs, and I'll just show you real quick how they're made. And you'll find this to be pretty cool. I'm just going to do something really simple for this tutorial because it's really easy. It gives you a look at how this works. And so I have two layers. One is this layer. I just created this for my other blog, actually, um, to show uh, the transition. I created a CSS transition tutorial. And I wanted to show uh, how text would go from this uh, to this. Uh, in CSS and so I created an animated GIF to that would le um, loop continuously and so I'm going to show you how to how I made that GIF uh, today and so you have these two layers and you know the uh, none of them are transparent it's just a um, text over a white background and there are actually screenshots of the browser that I had taken um, with the CSS animation or transition I mean and so uh, it's really easy to do if you just go up to window and timeline this little timeline section comes up and so from here you say create video timeline And you're going to have uh, the top layer here. And you can control various aspects of this. And so if you click this little toggle button right here, it will, I'm going to see if I can bring this up to show you. You have different properties that you can animate. You can animate its position. So you could have something come in from a side or top or, you know, it, when you want things to move, you do position. Opacity is, you know, it's, tra you know, making it transparent. And then style is uh, like layer styles and things like that. But I want to do opacity. And so if you click on opacity, you click the little watch feature. It puts a keyframe here. And so it, it looks at it and it says, okay, the keyframe of the opacity, it is 100% right now. And so if you want that to change, what you do is, this is your scrubber. You take this about halfway. See, this is 15 frames, 15 frames, 15 frames. So you have probably about 60 frames here. And so um, you go about halfway down the timeline and you're going to click this little diamond icon. That's going to set another keyframe. And so from here, I'm going to lower the opacity down to zero. Then I'm going to take the same scrubber and put it right here on the timeline at the very end. And I'm going to click to add another keyframe and I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100%. And so if we take our mouse and slide this back and forth, you'll see that it goes from uh, the first image, gradually to the second image, back to the first image again. And so from here, this is, you know, this is pretty much the... Uh, a whole animation. That's all I did, but it just shows you a basic idea of how to create an animation. And so, uh, the first the first layer here fades to zero opacity. Then it goes all the way back up to a hundred percent opacity. And when it goes down to zero, it reveals uh, the layer down below. And so from here, you would think, well, how do I get it to be an animated GIF. You know, it's not so straightforward actually because there's not a little menu here or anything that I knew of at least. 
but what you do is just this file here you don't have to do anything else except for just go to file save for web and the options are actually built into here and so my preset is set to PNG which is not what we want we need it to be a GIF and from here you have your GIF and then you have your image size and then down here is your animation it tells you exactly how many frames all together there are it's 150 and your looping options are once but you can set it to forever and then simply name it you know whatever you want it to be so this will be CB GIF desktop and so what should happen is when we flip over here and go to a new tab and open this in our browser it will fade back and forth between our transition you can see that it's going back and forth now and that's how you create an animated GIF in Photoshop CC. It's that simple. Hope you guys uh, have fun with this, play around with it. And actually what I'd like for you guys to do is when you create your own GIF, uh, in the uh, using the discuss uh, comment system at the bottom, you can post images and stuff. So what I would like for you to do is post your GIF in the comment section. That would be really awesome. And I'd like to see what you guys come up with because I've seen some really awesome stuff on the internet. I'm James George and this is Create a Beacon.